she's got an older brother, Marcus, and the two of them fend for each other. Or supposed to, because Marcus, he's more interested in becoming famous and he goes off to a recording studio doing his raps. Hello, I finished the first from the book along list and it's Night Crawling by Layla Motley. And wow, I was really blown away by this one. And to think that the author has only just turned 20 and it's a debut novel, what, yeah, amazing. It's not an easy read. It's dark in places and there are all sorts of trigger warnings for abuse and things like that, you know. But an excellent book. Um, it gets you from the very first page you, you are drawn in immediately and Layla our 17 year old um, protagonist our main girl she sometimes you read novels where the main characters they're feisty they're hard they've got all these edges and they come across a little bit unlikable she has got the hard edges when she needs to. But the writing is so, I'd say poetic. There's a, a, a lyrical, a, a lyricism to the poetry, to, sorry, to the writing that allows you to see her vulnerability. On the surface, at times, she is all hard edges, but underneath you see her vulnerability and that is what is so engrossing about this book you are drawn into the, the character she's alone with her brother um, she her father died when she was 13 her mother is in some sort of halfway house uh, she was taken there when she was 15 and the reason why is revealed part way through the book. She's got an older brother, Marcus, and the two of them fend for each other, or supposed to, because Marcus, he's more interested in becoming famous and he goes off to a recording studio doing his raps and there's no money. There's no money coming in and the landlord is doubling the rent and there's no money and Layla finds herself walking the streets using her skin to pay the bills using her skin to survive in a world that there's no one looking out for her her big brother is supposed to look out for her her parents are supposed to look out for her but there is no one looking out for her. She's left on to her own. And then one night, she's picked up by two police officers and her life of exploitation and abuse begins. And the fact is that this is based on a true event. The author um, comes from the area where it's set, Oakland. And this is based on a true event of a teenager who was systematically abused by the police and the case was taken to grand jury. And she uses this as the basis for this story. Layla is, sorry, Chiara is picked up by two police officers and the gruesome deal she is offered in exchange for her freedom lands her at the centre of a media storm. She's caught between a rock and a hard place. What does she do? And on top of this, she finds herself looking after her neighbour's son, Trevor, who's nine, because his mother is an addict and just disappears looking for her next fix. She leaves him alone for weeks. So Kiara and Trevor have this bond. And 
when they are together, that is when you see some of the joy, some of the light in this book. The rest of it is pretty dark. But when Le um, Kiara is with Trevor and they're shooting hoops, that is when you see glimpses of joy. It was a super read. Um, I got through it in a couple of days. And as for the ending, um, perhaps there's hope in the ending, but I was left wondering what happens next. What happens to Kiara in a year's time, five years time, 10 years time? What is her life going to be like? There is a glimmer of hope in the ending, but for me, I was wondering what happens to her now. And I just thought it was great. Well worth its place on the book along list. So that is the first one. I'm now reading Case Study by um, Graham McCray, McCray Burnett. So I'm part way through that and I'll come back to you when I've read that one. And um, I will catch you another time. So take care. Happy reading and bye. Thank you.